Hollywood illusion causes such confusion. Don't ever reach the wrong conclusion. All you saints and sinners love to taint beginners and look at female celluloid winners. Some of our biggest stars have sapphic love without being graphic love between two women, lesbians, lavender marriages and double lives are everyday traffic for thespians. Sewing circles, as they were called, were where women met women who lived on the screen. And there you might have seen Edna May, Oliver, Marjorie Maine, and Spring Bind, and I'm not a lying hun, and that's off the record. Barbara Stanwyck, Mary Martin, and Judy Holiday, all of the Fannie Mae, and that's off the record. Greta Garbo was androgynous, not just her image on the screen, her sexual life not monotonous, worshipped by Cecil Beaton, who definitely was no Cretan, but a high-class designer and a vile pissy queen. And of course, that's off the record. Sandy Dennis, Nancy Culp, and Capucine never played parting green, and that's off the record. Dolores Del Rio, Lillian Gish, and Edith had never bed a friend, and that's off the record. Agnes Moorhead was really nuts about glamorous Susan Hayward. The beautiful actress wouldn't go that route, but they remained good friends. Behind or in front of the lens, but they never got naked as a jaybird. And that's definitely off the record. Judy Garland, Joan Crawford, and Myrna Loy loved both girl and boy, and that's off the record. Miss Jean Arthur, Kay Francis, and Patsy Kelly didn't need KY Jelly, and that's off the record. Crawford and Davis gave us a few, mostly Hollywood publicity. It started when Joan courted Betty and got lewd. Go back to your husband, French or Tone. Be a good wife and give him a bone. Davis and Crawford made lots of electricity. And that's absolutely off the record. Lena Horne, Hattie McDaniel, and Josephine Baker dodged God's little acre, and that's off the record. Claudette Colbert had an affair with Marlena Dietrich, who also liked Dick, and that's off the record. Tallulah Bankhead was notorious for legendary sexual conquests, with both sexes' behavior inglorious. She claimed to win Hattie McDaniel, probably wooed her own cocker spaniel. Her conquests rivaled those of Mae West, and that's indubitably off the record. Janet Gaynor, Eve Arden, and Lynn Fontaine never laid a John Wayne, and that's off the record. Sybil Thorndike, Judith Anderson, and Beatrice Lily, oh, you know the drilly, and that's 
off the record. Catherine Hepburn, an arrogant bitch, has a fabulous sparkling personality. <laughs> Loving a man was never her niche. Her affairs with Spencer and Howard Hughes were absolutely a studio ruse. Cause her butch dyke demeanor was career fatality. And that's positively absolutely obviously evidently and strictly off the record she'd sue